Hey, and welcome to Yodi's Table. Today we'll be making the salted caramel French toast with the homemade caramel sauce. If you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned. Catch you in a jiffy. Alrighty, in order to get started on our salted caramel French toast, here are all of our ingredients. Here I have two eggs, three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream, one cup of sugar, six tablespoons of salted butter, an eighth of a cup of brown sugar, an eighth of a cup of maple syrup, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, an eighth of a cup of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and two good old Texas toast pieces. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna start off by making our little custard for our French toast. This is gonna be what we dip our French toast in. I don't necessarily like a really eggy mixture, so that's why I dilute it with the remainder of the ingredients. So we'll pop in our two eggs, and then we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of that heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna take our maple syrup, as well as our brown sugar. I'm gonna pop our cinnamon right in there and the vanilla. We'll give this a good mix and set it aside. Now we'll move over to our burner to get started on our salted caramel sauce. Now we're gonna get started on our salted caramel sauce. And so we're gonna turn our burner on to a medium low heat. I have my burner on about a two and a half, close to a three. And we're gonna start by putting our sugar in. And with our sugar, we're looking for all the granules to melt down. We're looking for a golden amber color. And we're gonna want this, and we wanna do this low and slow. So that way our sugar doesn't burn. Now that we've reached this amber color, we're gonna go ahead and pop our butter in. And with this, you definitely don't wanna take your eye off of it when it's getting to this point. You wanna continuously mix, so that way the sugar is being moved around. And you can tell that all the granules have officially melted. And so we're gonna pop this in one stick at a time and just give it a nice mix. I turned down my heat a little bit so that way the sugar doesn't burn. I have my burner on low right now. And now that our butter is all melted and well combined, we're gonna go ahead and add our salt. If you want a very salted caramel, then you'll go ahead and add the teaspoon and a half. And if not, then just add a little bit at a time, give it a taste and see how you feel about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the full teaspoon and a half and get that a good mix. And now we're just gonna turn off our heat and we're gonna whisk in our heavy whipping cream. Just keep mixing until everything comes together. And you wanna give your caramel a taste, make sure that it's to your liking. And now that this is all combined, we're gonna go ahead and pop this in a bowl and put it in the fridge. As it starts to cool down, it will thicken. So while it's thickening, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our French toast. For our French toast, we're gonna get started by 
putting a tablespoon of butter into the pan and we're gonna turn our burner on to a medium high heat, so about a three and a half. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is take the custard that we made and dip our French toast in it, or our Texas toast. And you want this to have a really nice soak so that way your French toast is not dry. Of course, I am doing this with clean hands, so please wash your hands. But if you don't, hey, you're eating your food, it don't matter. So kind of push the mixture into the toast. And we'll do the same thing for the next one. So I'm gonna just set this aside on the plate that we were using and let it do its thing. If you have more mixture, go ahead and add more toast if you desire. Now that our butter is all melted, we're gonna go ahead and just pop our toast right in. And if you can fit two in your pan, then go ahead and do them at the same time. We want this to have a nice crust on it and a nice golden brown color. So it'll be about two minutes each side and then we'll flip. So it's been about two minutes and we're gonna go ahead and just flip. And this is exactly what we want. And we're going to leave this for about another two minutes and we'll take it off and plate our French toast up. And do note that you can use any bread of your liking. I just like a thick cut Texas toast, but of course you can use challah bread or you can use brioche, whatever you have available to you. We're going to give it a peek on the other side and that is done. So we're going to turn off our heat and I'll show you how to plate this. In order to plate this up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our French toast and cut them diagonally. And we're gonna place them and just kind of overlap them. And we'll take our second piece and do the same. And of course you wanna just arrange this to your liking. And I just have some strawberries, so that's what I'll be using as a garnish. But of course you can use any fruits of your choice or you can use any nuts of your choice. That's up to you to decide. And so I'm gonna get these just a nice cut down the middle. And now we'll take our caramel sauce and drizzle a generous amount over this. After all, this is a salted caramel French toast. And you can see that our caramel has thickened. So I used about three heaping tablespoons of caramel sauce. And then we're just gonna take a really small sieve and pop our powdered sugar right in and just give this a nice little dust.
and you wanna just kinda of dust it right over everything. We'll set this aside. And the final step will just be to garnish with our strawberries. And you can just kind of fill in all the negative spaces. And just play around with it until it's at your desired look. And there we have it, our salted caramel French toast. Comment down below and let me know what you think, and also let me know if you've given it a try. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace, until next time. Catch you on the flip side.